Good morning to everyone. Um, good afternoon or good evening, uh, wherever you may be. It's uh, eight o'clock here on uh, Sunday uh, morning. So I'd like to welcome everyone uh, to uh, a new video here. Um, I would like to do a live stream, but uh, YouTube prevented me from doing so. Apparently, my uh, software or something uh, around that line. Uh, I don't know what really it was. Uh, I can't remember it, but it prevented me from uh, from live streaming from my mo mobile phone because uh, their my mobile phone. I don't know if it's a software or my mobile phone itself is not compliant with their regulation. So, so right off the bat, uh, I'm gonna talk about uh, the lockdown that's going to happen in uh, Australia especially in Western Australia uh, they're gonna have a hard lockdown for the next five five days so most uh, people are back uh, in the supermarket uh, getting stuff or whatever they can uh, put their hands on so panic buying sets in again and uh, I've seen a lot of them are uh, they're not wearing masks. I mean, that, that was my, I was uh, jealous about them, about it, uh, not wearing anything at all. Because right, right now here, we're mandated, uh, it's a mandatory that you, whenever you go out, you go in public places where uh, physical distancing cannot be maintained. You have to be, or even if your uh, physical distancing uh, can be maintained, you still have to wear a mask. So... It's really it's really difficult to breathe in and breathe out with uh, with the mask on, but yeah, we just we just have to follow what the the health orders are. That's what it is. And I also see a news article about uh, uh, the Philippines introducing a five thousand peso note. So what that means is the the economy is experiencing a higher inflation kicks in and it goes higher it makes the the lower denomination um, bill useless so let's take for example uh, yung pandisal so yung pandisal is worth uh, before it's worth uh, you can buy pandisal for for one peso so kung ngayon is three peso na siya or four peso so imagine yung five peso mo is uh, it can only buy you uh, one pandisal have a decent breakfast you need at least 50 peso for breakfast and then I don't know how much uh, the cost the true cost of other uh, goods and stuff uh, in the Philippines but I do think uh, the meat has gone up too so everything is going up so, and, I, and I also see a news article about uh, IMF urging uh, governments to spend as much as you can so what the IMF is telling them is to print more money, more and more. Because um, business is restricted, no one's uh, paying uh, taxes enough to, uh, to cover their spending. So they have to print more money. That's why in the Philippines you see now 5,000 peso uh, note. There are fundamental gaps and inequities within our societies and between them. As with climate change, those who have the least are impacted the most. That's why last spring, Canada worked with Prime Minister Andrew Holness and Secretary General Antonio Guterres to convene a high-level meeting to discuss how leaders around the world could work together to close these gaps and build a better, more equitable system that works for everyone. In May, we agreed to look at six urgent areas of action to mobilize financing for the response and the recovery. Over the course of the summer are problems, but in the long run, we also have a 19 vaccine global access facility, including $220 million to the advanced market commitment to help low and middle income countries access vaccines. This is an important initiative and I encourage other governments to join in as well. We need to work together and not just on vaccines. Canada believes that a strong coordinated response across the world and across sectors is essential. This pandemic has provided an opportunity for a reset. 
This is our chance to accelerate our pre-pandemic efforts to reimagine economic systems. Until they find a way to manufacture and distribute this uh, vaccine around the world in a more orderly and timely fashion and uh, get every man and woman and child vaccinated, uh, will we see uh, a return to somewhat normalcy and then find out what really is uh, the cost of uh, this pandemic. And then from there, I think uh, you've seen the video. They are going to do a reset or uh, or somewhat of um, I don't know how it's going to unfold or how it's going to play out but somehow they have to uh, do a reset of the whole thing because uh, it really turned everything upside down and uh, I hope um, you prepare yourself be, uh, be safe and uh, protect yourself at all times because uh, this thing is not over till it's over so I'll see you again next time in my next video and uh, uh, click the subscribe button and uh, please uh, share it to your family and friends and uh, don't forget to uh, click on the, the thumbs up sign if you learn something. I'll see you again next time. Bye bye.